What's up everyone? It's Cyber Coco and welcome back to my channel. Now today I've got another lookbook for you because you know I love doing lookbooks on this channel and today's one is the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. Now I I don't know if anyone is out there asking for a lookbook on this movie uh, but I'm doing it. I've done it. It's here. It's now. So hopefully you enjoy. Now this lookbook is going to be a little bit different than what I've done in previous lookbooks because we've got cars involved in this one. We have cars. So I thought, why don't I try and make some outfits inspired by the cars in this movie? I mean, I thought that was just genius. So there's going to be some outfits where I've like created ideas and like just an outfit based on what that car was like telling me or just color palette. Um, and then I'm going to be doing some outfits where I'm basing it off the characters and replicating the characters and showing you how to get the look. So it's a mixed bag of looks today. I hope you don't mind. I just wanted to have fun and experiment, but I think it turned out okay. And I had a lot of fun doing it anyway. Okay, enough talking. Let's just get straight to it. Okay, first up, I had to do some outfits that were inspired by the Tokyo girls in the car park. You know, the scene where Sean rolls up with Twinkie in the whole car and it's like this montage of beautiful women, awesome cars, good music and fashion. I love that scene so much. I mean, it's iconic. So I had to make sure that I included some outfits inspired by the fashions in this scene. Now in this scene, you'll see a lot of classic 2000s fashion. You've got a lot of mini skirts. You've got the layered mini skirt, the denim mini skirts the tight mini skirts, that kind of vibe. A lot of pointed shoes, like pointed boots, pointed heels, Got a bunch of leg warmers going on. So I really wanted to make sure that I included those elements in my outfits. So of course I had to include an outfit that has a single top that's completely blinged out. Unfortunately, the camera didn't really pick it up, but that single top is completely blinged out all over. And then I've got a white grommet belt with a cute little denim skirt, some leg warmers and some pointed heels. So for the second outfit, I've got this amazing animal print halter neck top. I am obsessed with this top. And I've paired that with a studded belt and of course, the classic layered mini skirt. I've also got some thigh high socks and my pointed black leather boots. Next up, we've got an outfit that is inspired by Hans's car. So for this look, I really took inspiration from the color palettes of the car. I really love black and orange together. I think it works so, so well. This outfit is a good example of how you can elevate an outfit by adding more accessories and just creating different looks. So I kept it simple with the staple pieces. So like a classic orange t-shirt and a black skirt and then piled on the accessories on top. So I've got the black harness around my body. I've got one leather glove on. I've got the garter, I've got some fishnet stockings and I've got orange leg warmers on top of my boots. I just thought layering these up and mixing different textures like the leather and the fishnets was really cute. Next up is Morimoto. Now Morimoto is my absolute favorite character out of the whole movie. I love him so much, he's amazing. Uh, but I wanted to do an outfit that was based on his fashion. Now I'm obsessed with Morimoto's fashion taste. It's very much the UK punk 70s and 80s kind of vibe and I'm so down for that. Uh, so what I wanted to do is recreate one of his looks that he wears quite often. We've got a classic leather biker jacket and I've also thrown on just a really baggy white t-shirt that's really crinkled and just like very no effort at all. Uh, we've got some blue jeans, some suspenders because we know he loves his suspenders, especially with that whole fight scene with Twinkie and Sean where he just snaps his suspenders as he walks off. So about that. And for more accessories for this look, I threw on a pant chain and tied a bandana around my thigh. And for shoes, of course, we've got classic Doc Martens. Next up, we've got Sean. Now I wanted to create a look based on the Evo that Han gives him. So 
So for this look, I really focused on the color palette of the car. We've got the red, the black, and the white. So I really incorporated that in this look. For the jacket, I have this red Bomber Varsity jacket that I'm obsessed with. I've had this for so long. I was so excited when I thrifted this so many years ago. So happy that I could include it in this outfit. I also paired that with some classic red leather pants. I'm obsessed. And my comfiest pair of black boots. And of course, a black crop top because that was very much in at the time. I didn't really accessorize with this outfit. I kind of just wanted the block colors to be the main statements of the look. But if you wanted to do this, you could definitely add accessories. I just wanted to keep it simple. Next up is DK. So for DK, I really wanted to try and recreate the outfit that he wears within the movie a few times. It is so classic and I'm obviously really obsessed with it because it's leather, it's studded, we've got boots going on. So yeah, very, very obsessed. So to get the look, I'm wearing this snakeskin leather jacket. I love it so much. Thrifted this many years ago and is a staple in my wardrobe. I've paired this with a classic black t-shirt. Very simple. I've also got a studded moto belt and of course some black leather flares and some black cowboy boots. Okay, next up is Neela. Okay, for Neela's look, we are doing an outfit based off her car. I love the color palette of her car. We've got the blues, that gradient to a darker blue, that gradient to a black. So it gave me a few things to play with for this look. To get this look, I'm wearing a beautiful cropped leather blue jacket. I'm obsessed with this jacket. I know I'm saying I'm obsessed with every jacket, but I love jackets. And I've paired it with this black lace slip dress. And on top of that, just to cinch in the waist, I've put on a gold belt. For pants, I've got these dark navy flares and I've paired this with some platform black boots. I love dresses and skirts over pants. Also, another thing, I rarely wear blues, so it was kind of refreshing to do a blue outfit. Last, but certainly not least, we have Twinkie. Okay, so straight up, this is one of those moments where I realized that I am so silly. I did a green outfit in front of a green screen. As you can see, it's a little bit glitchy. I'm sorry about that, but I'm trying your best to ignore all that. So obviously I've created this look based on the car and to get the look, I am wearing a black singlet top. And on top of that, I'm wearing an asymmetrical black and green velvet top. So the arm is mesh and then across the body is velvet. I've paired that with some green pants. And of course, we've got some Jordan ones because you know Twinkie's all about his Jordans. For accessories, I have a green arm sleeve that I created myself and a studded cuff. And that's all the looks for this video done. Now let me know down below in the comments section, did you enjoy me creating looks based on the cars? Or do you just prefer straight up character looks? I'm really interested to know, but regardless, I had a lot of fun getting a little creative. Make sure if you haven't already that you subscribe and you click the bell so you do not miss out on any future videos that come out. I hope you're having a good day, good night, good weekend, wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you guys on my next one. Mwah. <laughs>